Good morning all. Today we are going to see single pass assembler explanation with example in system program. Single pass assembler where different data structures are required. These are symbol table, literal table, table of incomplete instruction. In single pass assembler we are not going to generate any intermediate code. Directly target code generation is there. So this table of incomplete instruction is required to store unavailable information of different symbols or literals because symbols and literals getting addresses after LTORG end statement or DSDC set statement for symbol. So this table of incomplete instruction table is required. Whose data structure is LC number and the incomplete instruction name. And symbol table data structure, symbol number, symbol name, address. Then literal table, literal number, literal name and the address. And pool table is required. If our source programming having number of pools, then we are storing the information of pool in pool tab. This pool are identified by LTORG statement. So this is our source program and for this source program we are going to generate fire target code. Now we'll see the output. For this um, single pass assembler, mod, then pot, then declarative statements and register. This is the basic required information is there. So MOT is nothing but mnemonic opcode table where we have taken 10 different opcodes like MOR, MOM, ADD with their opcode number. Then POT, pseudo opcode table with their opcode number and mnemonics are start, end, equivalent, origin, LTORG. This five pseudo opcode or assembly directive. Then declarative statement DS and DC declarative storage declarative constant which is having 0 1 and 0 2 position. Then we have taken four register numbering 1 to 4 AREG to DREG. Then this table of instruction incomplete instruction symbol table and literal table. These three tables are required. Now we will see how to find target code. Let us consider this is our first statement start 100. Start is assembly directive whose position is 0 1. So 0 1. First operand is not present. So dash and 100 is a constant. Using start 100 we are going to assign LC or the location counter. So LC will start with 100. So next instruction onward we are going to give LC. Now next statement move R A R E G A. For this target code is 100 is a location counter. We started with this one. Then 0 1 move R is having 0 1 position in mod register. A R E G having 0 1 position in register table. That's why this and third operand is A. So A is a symbol. Right now we don't know the address of A. So we have kept it at kept this field as a blank. Then we will add this A into symbol table at first position and we also add the location counter number that is 100 and incomplete instruction A. After getting address of A we will fill this field. So we added at location counter 100 incomplete instruction is A. Now next is print b again for print b increment location counter print is present at ninth position in mod then first operand is not present so dash again b is new symbol again we don't know address so keep it blank so we will add this b in symbol table at second position and also we added information of b with location counter in table of incomplete information instruction now next is add breg is equal to 9 add is third position breg 
second position and 9 which is a literal. Again we don't know address of literal so we will add this literal into literal table at first position. Again we will add the incomplete instruction as a 102 location and incomplete instruction is literal is equal to 9. Now next is sub BREGD. At 103 position, sub is 0, 04 in mod, BREG 2 position in register, D is new symbol. We don't know the address, so we will add that D symbol into symbol table as well as in TII at current location 103. Now next, next is compare CREG. Again, increment 104 as a LC. Compare 0 at position, CREG third position, literal. Again, we keep it kept at as a blank and we will add this at second position in literal table. Also, we added into table of incomplete instruction. Now, next symbol, next instruction is LTORG. Using LTORG statement, we, we, we are going to give addresses to literals. Now, in literal table, how many literals are there? Two literals. So, we will give the address to 1 to 2. We will start from pull tab position, that is 0, 1 to current literal position, which is 0, 2. So, 0, 1 and 0, 2 position, literal will get the addresses using LTORG statement. Because this is, this is our first pull. Now, how we can assign increment LC 105 dash dash. First, we have gave address 2 is equal to 9. So, 105 as a address and so we write over here 1009. Next, for 23, increment LC 106 dash dash. And for literal 23, we gave the address as a 106 and we wrote here 023. Now, increment LC. Again, using this statement ADS3. ADS3, using DS and DC, we can give the addresses to symbols. So, using this ADS, we, gave the, we will give the address to A symbols. And we will write in this way. So, for A symbol, we got address 107 and our target code is dash dash 003. Actually, it, it is dash dash dash. Then next statement is label equivalent to A. Label equivalent to A. For equivalent and for origin statement, we are not going to generate any target code. So, no code generation. But here, label is a symbol. So, we added that label field and we gave the address of A to label. So, A is having address 102. We directly assign that address to label field. Because statement is label equivalent to A. So, label equivalent address is 107. Next, origin. Again, origin. Here, we are not going to generate any code. But, we will reset our LC with 500. So, no code generation. But, LC will start with 500 from next statement onward. Now, next statement is L1 multiplication. CREG is equal to 7. So, L1 is label. We will add it into symbol table and multiplication is having 5th position in mod. CREG 3rd position. Again, this is a literal. So, we kept it as a blanket. We don't know the address and we will add this L1 into symbol table and we add this 7 into literal table at third position. Now, this is our next pool which is started from third position. And we also added the information into table of incomplete instruction at location 500.
Now, next statement is BDC 10. Again, this is a declarative constant. So, here we will assign the address to B symbol. So, this dash, dash and constant is 0, 10. So, we wrote here 0, 10 and we assign the address as a 501 to B symbol. Now, next statement is MoM CREG. Increment location counter, MoM at second position in mod, CREG third position. Again, we don't know address of is equal to 7. So, you can see 7 is is equal to 7 literal is already present in literal table. So, we haven't added that again. But we have to add this into table of incomplete instruction because this field is blank right now. Incomplete. So, we added 502 location counter and incomplete instruction. Now, next is DDC. Here, we will assign the address to D symbol. So, this dash dash 008 and we gave the address D as a 503. Now, next, sim next instruction is end. After end statement, we are going to give addresses to remaining literals. So, only 7 is equal to 7 literal is there which is not having address. So, we will assign the address. So, for end statement increment Location counter 504 dash dash 2 is equal to 7. We assign the address as 504. So, we wrote here 007. In this way, this part is done. Right now, every symbol got address and every literal got address. Now, we will complete the target code because there are some fields which are incomplete. So, now next step is through using this table of incomplete instruction, we will complete our target code. Now next, we start first position of table of incomplete instruction, 100A. So, A is the symbol, get the address 107 and write over here. So, we wrote here 107. Now, next instruction is 102. Incomplete information B. So, get the address of B from symbol table 501 and write down here. Now, next, symbol, next is 102 location counter is equal to 9 is a literal. So, get the address as a 105 right over here. Now, next 103 position D. Address of D symbol. So, 503. We wrote here 503. Now, next is 104. Whose address is, is equal to 23 literal. So, address of is equal to 23 is 106. So, we wrote here 106. Now, next is 500 location counter. As address of is equal to 7 which is 507. So, we wrote here 507. Here 504. Next is 502. Right now it is blank. So we will get the address of 50 uh, is equal to 7 symbol uh, literal that is 504 and we wrote here 504. In this way we have completed our target code with the help of these data structures. This is what our final output. So, single pass assembler, sing, this is our source program, this is our target code, symbol table and literal table. Thank you. If you like, please press the like button and subscribe my channel. Thank you so much.